All right, guys, so in this video, we're doing a drain job. We're trying to solve a flooding issue that this homeowner is having in the front of his home. Water goes right over the front walkway and it penetrates through the wall, flooding into the garage. So we're gonna be putting a channel drain right across this area here. Now, when we started digging this, we ran into some concrete here uh, that was, I guess, just kind of left over from the footer that kind of poured over. So. We started going and uh, hitting it with a mallet and digging underneath it with the shovel and we eventually cracked through it and we got it out of our way. So you can see him hammering away right there and it just slowly busting off and chipping off. So it's, it was a pretty good sized piece of concrete right there. So now we had to go through a lot of oak tree roots and we ended up just using a sawzall to do it. So as you can see, he's still cutting his way down the trench through all those oak tree roots with the sawzall. And if you're wondering what kind of blade we use, we used a Diablo carbine bit uh, for pruning and it's got real big teeth. So I'll go ahead and I'll put a picture of it so you guys can see, but look at the size of these roots compared to my hands. I mean, these were some big roots in the ground that we had to go through. All right, so now that we have the channel drain set into place where it's going to be, uh, I've got the fitting that I'm currently priming, and uh, I think I'm using the blue glue in this. So uh, always prime, you always prime your fitting first with the purple, and it's a cleaner as well as a primer. And then after you prime both the fitting and the pipe, then you hit it with the glue, and you push them together, and you give it about... Eh, about 20 to 25 seconds you hold them together until it uh until you feel it like it sets well enough all right so now that we got all the tree roots out of the way and we got our trench dug it's time to start uh going underneath the sidewalk and for this process we went ahead and we just used the water hose with a, a one inch pipe a one inch pvc pipe and we just kind of used that to blow our way through and then we went ahead and put the uh, four inch pipe underneath it so this is the completed pipe work right here. This is the entire drain run that goes from the front of the front door all the way underneath the sidewalk. And then it's going to daylight right where the ground gets low at the edge of the driveway. All right, so now that we have everything buried up, we're going to go ahead and get the water hose and we'll open up the back of the system where the channel drain is and test it and make sure that everything is sloped correctly and that we have good flow and the water is dumping out where it daylights at the end of the driveway. So it looks like everything's flowing well and we'll go ahead and go down to the edge of the driveway and take a look and make sure all that water and any debris that might maybe in that pipe is coming on out. So now, when I looked at this, I saw that that concrete at the very edge of the driveway was holding it up a little bit. The water's flowing really well, but that concrete's slowing it up. So what I went ahead and did is I just kind of notched that concrete out a little bit, as you can see right here. That way, nothing's going to impede the flow of water now. And it's just a tiny notch just to let that water, you know, come through instead of pool up and then flow over it. If you live in the Tampa Bay area or surrounding counties and you're experiencing flooding in your yard from rainwater, give us a call. We can design a customized system that will fit your needs and solve your drainage issue from stormwater. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is Aero General Services signing off.